Hi, <clears throat> my name is Pete Gerlach. I'm the author of the nonprofit educational Break the Cycle website. That website is a series of seven sequential self improvement lessons that has resulted from my being a lifelong student of human behavior and a professional family systems therapist for 31 years. The second of these seven lessons is my attempt to summarize everything I've learned in 40 years or so about how to communicate with other people effectively. My observation from many, many people is that average folks, college educated or not, don't know what they don't know about communication and they are used to communicating at perhaps half of the effectiveness that they could achieve. So lesson two aims at, in a structured way, showing you how to improve your communication with adults and children in any situation. Pause for a minute. Is that something that appeals to you? Here's what you'll find if you invest time in the online self-study course called Lesson 2. It is um, the, it has a study guide, which I'll give you the link to at the end of this video. And the study guide presents 42 sequential assignments. Assignments. Uh, basically, these are reading readings of website articles. They are skill practices, and they are exercises. So there are 42 of these, and I present them in order in three different groups. The first group will inform you on some real fundamental basics about communication. Um, why do we communicate? There are five reasons. Can you name them? Find out. What do we communicate? There are four messages that people, two people face to face, uh, exchange all the time, sub subconsciously. One of the messages, the least well known, controls the outcome. We'll find that out in the first group of assignments. How do we communicate? There are three separate channels. You probably know this one. What kind of things block communication, typical communication between two people who are trying to exchange meaning? There are over 20 common blocks. You'll learn what they are in this course. Perhaps most important and fundamentally, the first section of Lesson 2 will show you two requisites that you must meet, you and a partner must meet, in order to have effective interpersonal communication. The second section of this lesson will present in order seven learnable specific skills. Very few people I have met have ever studied these and most don't practice them. Can you name the seven skills? I would be astounded if you could. I've never met one person who could. Here they are quickly. Awareness, empathic listening, listening with your heart, clear as opposed to fuzzy thinking, digging down below surface needs to discover what your primary needs are as you communicate and in a relationship, digging down. Meta talk, which is the learnable skill of learning how to assess and discuss how you're communicating. It's helpful in solving communication problems. Assertion, respectful assertion, how to say what you think, feel, and need in a way that other people can hear you clearly. And the last and most powerful skill uses all six other skills. It's called problem solving. Those are the seven skills you'll learn in the second section of lesson two. There are theory articles, practice exercises, uh, and applications. 
You'll also find in Lesson 2, the third section is Communication Tools and Techniques. There's a variety of them to help you find out how to best use these seven skills and the basics. There are additional resources in this second of seven self-improvement lessons. One is an inventory of your communication strengths. It's nice to know. What are you good at? This is not just about discovering what you're not good at yet. What are you good at as you communicate? Another resource is a quiz to help you along the way gauge your knowledge about communication basics and skills. Um, I have been making recently and will continue to, I've made about 30 YouTube video clips to augment the materials in this lesson. So many of the articles on the online website begin with an introductory um, video clip by me on that particular article or topic. The last resource in this lesson is a selection of uh, resources, some research articles, some reprints, and selected books that I think are useful and helpful. So to get the most from all these resources in Lesson 2, if you're motivated to find out how could you improve the effectiveness of this thing you do all the time as a social critter, how can you improve the effectiveness of your communication? Um, I urge you to also study Lesson 1 in my website. It is a prerequisite to using the power of these articles and videos. Lesson 1 is about freeing your true self to run your life. So progress at Lesson 1 as you study and experiment with Lesson 2. The remaining lessons, Lessons 3 through 7, in my website depend on progress on Lessons 1 and 2. Here is the web address of the study guide in my website, which is nonprofit and ad-free. I'm not selling anything except awareness and useful information. Here's the link to the study guide for Lesson 2. And here is uh, a link to the first of two groups of videos that support Lesson 2. These videos will give you much more information on communication basics. If you choose to look at these videos, they take, I think, about six or seven hours. It'll give you a good grounding if you take it a step at a time. So I encourage you to imagine what would your life be like if you could, if you could communicate with children, with average adults, and with, quote, difficult people. What would your life be like if you could be self-confident, calm, and effective communicating in all situations better than you do now? I invite you to find out. Enjoy.